Hey guys, Zach Rowell here again. Last time we saw each other, I was uh, providing you information on how to go about powder coating something of your own on your own. This time, I'm going to try to attempt to persuade you to make the decision to go to college. And not just go to college, um, but to go to college right out of high school, or at the very least, no later than a year after. Uh, to give you a little bit of background on the topic uh, from my personal experience, when I was in high school, um, it wasn't necessarily a must, per se, to go to college. Um, you know, between trade schools and real-world work experience, a man or a woman could more than likely find a career, uh, or at the very least a job, to start from without having a college degree. This also meant that the pay was relative in the fact that a non-college graduate could make the same, if not more, than a college graduate, um, given the field that he or she just, um, ended up in. Um, see, now, I graduated 12 years ago, um, and this was the case then, not so much now. Um, in 12 short years, this has dramatically taken a 180 degree turn the other way. Uh, now, it seems next to impossible to find a career without having a college education. A job? Yeah. Um, but a good career that pays well, that you enjoy doing? No. Uh, after I graduated high school, I went straight to work. Um, College wasn't even a thought in my mind. I started working in the auto body industry um, at the age of 15 in the summer going into my sophomore year of high school. Uh, I worked through high school um, and then eventually after graduation I stayed in it. My father attempted to sell me on college. Um, he knew that it would provide a better life for me um, since he experienced not going to college and working firsthand. Um, I, of course, didn't listen. And now, 12 years later, I'm wishing I would have. At the tender age of 30, um, I decided to go back to school, not because I wanted to, um, but because I had to. For a person to make a good living and be happy for the most part, they're going to need a degree of some sort, whether it be a bachelor's or associate's. Um, now, I know what you're probably thinking. Most people in the oil field um, make six figures a year and they don't have a college education. Heck, even a uh, auto body tech like myself has the potential to make $100,000 a year. But does everybody want to work in those two particular fields? No. Try getting a well-paying job anywhere else, at least in Soldatna, uh, without a degree. I dare you. So with that said, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not saying it's impossible, um, but they are few and far in between. And the only reason I also say to go right out of high school is because as you get older, um, it's going to get harder and harder to get back into the groove of school. Um, at my age, you might have a wife, a few small kids, a job, because, hey, now you have bills. So think about that for a second. And now think about going to college right out of high school and not having to worry about all that stuff um, stressing you out or you know taking up all your time. It's a little easier now, isn't it? So with that being said, um, let me throw some facts your way. According to a recent survey by the Pew Research Center, millennial college graduates ages 25 to 32 who are working full-time earn more annually, about $17,500 more, than employed young adults holding only a high school diploma. Uh, above that, uh, they also go on and say that college-educated millennials are also more likely to be employed full-time than their less educated counterparts. 89% versus 82%. Now, that doesn't seem much, but in the real-world picture, it's a quite a bit. And also, they're saying they're significantly less likely to be unemployed. Now, this is 3.8% compared to 12.2%, so that's a little bit more of a gap. Numbers don't lie, people, and these numbers were way different 12 years ago. I know another question is, uh, what about the cost? It costs so much to go to school. Yes, it does, but... There's community colleges and other universities out there that aren't going to cost you an arm and a leg. You're also capable of getting student loans um, and even grants and scholarships, so that's still no excuse. Um, in the same article, they state that about 9 in 10 millennials with at least a bachelor's degree say that college is already paid off or will in the future. So, if you look at the statistics and read some literature on the subject, it's almost impossible to argue that college is a necessary stepping stone for your future. I'm living proof, guys.
I'm sure you guys all know someone out there, you know, at my same age, in my same position, uh, that, and, and my guess is they're going to tell you the exact same thing I'm telling you now. Uh, at the very least, I urge you to look into the topic uh, and do some research for yourselves. You might find the facts to be interesting, and it might even open up your eyes. I think, you know, a few years of your life going to college, meeting new friends, um, and getting a better education, uh, compare that to the happiness of the rest of your life, I'd say that's a no-brainer.